everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Brani and I'm one half of the Indecisive Readers. Today I'm here to unbox the Illuma Crate July box which is called Never Enough. I'm very excited once again for this. It's just been a good week for book mail. It's cool. Um, yeah I'm really excited for this to turn up. I'm excited for the book. Can't really remember what items are in it but I resisted the temptation to look up kind of what was meant to be in it last night so this will be a surprise. So the first item in the box is this mug. It's a Between Us mug and then on the front it has like a red and blue kind of looking dragon. This is the next in the Rosie Thorns mug series. I'm just going to open it up and see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you a picture on the screen because I know from past experience it's just going to reflect. But it has someone with the red kind of magic behind them and someone with like blue looking water magic and a dragon next to them. I think this is a really pretty design. I didn't love the poppy wall though so I probably will pass it on to someone who will but I think this is really really nice and I think it's a wonderful design. The next item comes in this box. I'm gonna get it out. So this is a bust of Lila Bard. I'll put a picture up because it is too bright and you would miss all the details. Um, who I think is a character from a Dark Shade of Magic series that is on my TBR for this year, maybe I'll get to it next month. So I don't know who that is currently, but I do really like the design. Like I said, it's so detailed, I like all the clothes and it's got like the jacket on the back with some design. I like her hair too, she looks very cool. And it must be pretty cool to have a bust of your favourite character. I swear this box is conspiring against me. Not only do I not know any of the fandoms, I can't show you any of the items. So the next item is a acrylic frame and print with artwork by Merwild and a design by Crown and Fable. It is of Red Rising, which isn't a series I have read yet, but it is a series I want to read. And that's really, really pretty. I like how that's done, how it's like kind of layered. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but basically the kind of gold around the outside is on the top layer and then the characters are underneath. I don't know who they are, but it's very well done and I like it. Good on them. <laughs> then there is a little pocket mirror and it says to define is to limit pocket mirror. And on the outside is that quote. And then under there, there is a skull with a book I can't think of the word I should know that I'm a reader there is a skull with a book and some flowers and then obviously it's a mirror on this side and it says the art is by Tia Kinsman and it says while Dorian Gray can't gaze upon his portrait you can definitely gaze upon yourself in this pocket mirror I didn't realize that classics were kind of things that got included in book boxes but that's quite cool and it is like one of the three classics I have read uh, this is almost like a bit materially, I assume not leather, but like pleather on the outside. Um, the rest is metallic and reflective. Um, I would probably sit that in my bag because I don't think I have one. Then the final item I hope you know I'm going to unbox with a dramatic flourish. Am I going to get it right? Ready? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was less dramatic. Um, and it is a fan. It says no night was perfect for treason but this one came close um, and then it's got the cover for descendant of the crane by joan he which is what the quote is from i really like that quote um and i think i've read another of her books this year um and i really enjoyed it and this is one that is on my tbr but like i'm definitely gonna get to it on my tbr so i think i'll keep that and also because it's quite warm although it's less warm this week than it was last week so then the final item before the book is obviously the monthly collector's pin. This one looks like that. It's orange and yellow with a temple on it. And as usual, it is designed by Stacey McFoy Gaunt. Oh, those straight edges are... Then you saw my reaction to the sprayed edges. But the book is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. And that's what the sprayed edges look like, like a yellow to orange ombre. Oh, they're so pretty. And um, that matches the cover. The cover is redesigned. I think it's usually more yellow with kind of orange. And I don't know if it's usually foiled. Again, I think that's normally orange. That's so, so pretty. I really like that. 
Inside the book it has these as the end pages, I don't know if they're usually there but they're really pretty. Then underneath it said she didn't just want greatness, she wanted the world with a gold dragon. And then underneath the dust jacket is another design. It looks like that. It has a guy and a lady in kind of typical Chinese fashion i might be wrong please correct me if i am with like a battle gun over here and it looks kind of like a harbor over here that's really pretty i'm so excited that this was included i was in gaze the word oh my god this must mean it's gay but i was in gaze the word um the other day and i so desperately wanted to pick it up but i knew it was coming and i knew it was like only a week away so i didn't i was well behaved but the book says can she outwit her destiny and rise as high as she can dream in a famine-stricken village on a dusty yellow plain, Isia shows two children their fate. For the boy, greatness. For the girl, nothingness. It's starting out strong. In 1345, China lies under harsh Mongol rule. For the southern peasants of the central plains, greatness is only found in stories. The Zhu family is mystified as to how Zhu Chongba, the eighth-born son, will achieve his lofty future. But for a daughter, no matter how clever or capable, an early death would be no surprise. Yet when a bandit attack orphans the two children, it's Zhu Chongba who dies. Desperate to survive, his sister steals his identity to enter a monastery. There disguised as a male novice, Zhu learns she can be ruthless to avoid her fate. But when her sanctuary is destroyed, Zhu is cast back into the war-torn world. To change her ending, there's only one thing she can do. Claim her brother's great destiny as her own. Oh my god, it sounds so good. I'm so excited to read this. I think I'm going to try and fit it on my TBR for next month. It just sounds amazing and I'm so excited to read it. Despite me not knowing what the items are, the book kind of made up for the rest of it. That's what I was really looking forward to and I'm so excited for it. It was fantastic. If you enjoyed this video and you maybe like special edition books, I'd recommend my special Edathon Readathon announcement video, which was released on Saturday. It's Readathon based around special edition books and get into them and I definitely need it and I hope some of you would like to join in too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below to let me know if you join in with the readathon or if you're also excited about this book or even if you've read it already. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in another video. Bye.